Working with VR is obviously a little different. Um, you know, I mean, it's just film, but it's more complex filmmaking in that you have some very specific beats you have to hit while also staying within the scene um, for an extended period of time. So it's a fun challenge, and uh, I think it's I think it's a lot of fun. So it's more complex in that way, and it's it's not as loosey goosey. The same challenge for theater. I mean, a lot of a lot of people grow up doing theater, and I'm I'm no different. And so it's fun to kind of like go back to that because you can't cut. It's a one elongated scene, and so it's kind of the excitement of like, oh wow, you can actually film theater, but do it in like a professional, you know, eye popping way. We have really long takes, and we don't do much coverage or close ups. So we rehearse more for VR than we would for. Um, an actual film, in my experience. Uh, well, I think one of the major differences is there's no audience in the room with us. Uh, in the stage show, we're used to being physically close to the people who are viewing it, and the VR, the camera, becomes sort of this omnipresent thing. Uh, but the immersive environment is still exactly the same. On our first day of shooting, when I was you know, waiting to like make my first entrance into the, the world, all I kept thinking was, it's delusion, it's, it's, the, it's the universe, just tell the story like you would in, in the show, because it's the same sort of feeling, the same sort of intimacy as the stage show, for sure. I love the process of it. I wish everything was VR, because I think as an actor, you really get into that habit of just staring at a tennis ball, saying your lines, and moving on. Um, rather than really being in the world and actually like, I'm a part of this. The detail behind this project as far as the art direction, our art director Kevin is insanely gifted. He, he and his team have put together an atmosphere that really draws you in and makes you feel as though you're in this 1940s haunted mansion essentially. Everything from, from the books that they have to the to the furniture, to the curtain design. It... One of the things that excited me about this project was just all the opportunity for movement. To not embody the camera as a person and not have them in any way tied to the narrative, but you're kind of lingering in between the space of what I would like to say, you know, a ghost in this manner, since there's a lot of that kind of going on. But it's a combination of that and a fly on the wall, where it's purely observational, but we are giving you moments with certain characters, sliding over and giving you the moments with the other characters rather than kind of staying stationary and just kind of watching things from a distance in the room. So this, I'm hoping, is a lot more engaging. It brings, you know, the characters to the action rather than trying to cut. Uh, even just looking, you know, we've got to look at a little bit of the test footage. And then you just have a big dumb grin on your face the entire time. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. John Braver is the man. <laughs> the VR world, it's, it's, it's the same, really allowing the actor to sort of envelop the story. And he's created this whole world, these characters, this story. But he really just allows an actor to go in and live in it while just guiding in, in the most loving and supportive and brilliant way possible. Everything just takes you to another place. They've honestly transformed this location and made it into this grandiose place of fear. 